Right, right. I know, I know. I, I, I know, I was just thinking that if... Okay, but remember when... Okay, see, yeah, but... Right. Okay. Yeah, okay, you too. Okay, bye. Oh, God. My mother does not know when to stop talking. She just goes on and on and on. She makes so many tangents from the point that it's like, I don't even remember what we were talking about in the first place. And it's like, she doesn't even realize that a conversation is a two-way street. And like, I'm on the phone too. Like, I might have something to say. And it's like, she goes on and on. You don't even remember like what you're talking about in the first place. You know, which reminds me of this thing that Neil once said to me. He was like... Hey, Michelle, you back yet? You won't believe this. My flight got canceled. What? What happened? I was originally scheduled to be on the 5.30 flight. But they had me sitting in row 32, so I switched to a later flight. Because I used to love sitting in the back of the plane, but after a really bad experience once, I no longer do the rear. That's what she said. That's what who said? Never mind. And did you know that if you wait to fly until after 8 p.m., they give you two bags of peanuts instead of just one? So really, it's... Well, okay, no, that's not the point. The point is they canceled my flight. Well, uh, just take the next plane, I guess. Yeah, that's the thing. There's no available seats on any flight going back to New York for another two days. That's until Sunday. I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, the office won't cover me, and I don't know anybody who lives in Chicago. Except for your mom. (laughs) Do you think I could stay with her? You're serious? Mom, I know. I'm so sorry. It's just she has nowhere else to go. Hell no. There's no way the dumbass is setting foot in this house. It's bad enough that we... What the hell was that? Probably your doorbell, Mom. It's Michelle. You gave her my... Address? You are dead to me, Jessica. How's it going, Mom? You know, not bad. I went out to dinner with the gays next door as soon as she barged in, so I didn't even see her last night. And then by the time I woke up this morning, she'd already made breakfast for both of us. And she said she could get me tickets to an ultra-exclusive event at the Shed Aquarium. We even gave each other nicknames. Mind if I call you Mom? Yeah, I do, dumbass. See? I told you it wouldn't be that bad. Chicago, the town town. Did she always sing like Chicago, that? Chicago, uh, like I'll what? I love it. Like what? Come on, babe, why don't we paint the town? I am the man who will fight for your honor. At least she's geographically sensitive. can't even get through a movie without her big, loud mouth yammering. Is this popcorn too salty? I feel like it's too salty. Should I make another batch? I'm fine. You have to watch your blood pressure, Miss Fletcher. Maybe we should have a drink. I kind of feel like a Diet Coke. But no, no, we should wait, because Meryl is about to make her big decision. Son, daughter, son, daughter. Go, girls! Ah! Mm. This popcorn is salty. Yes, she's killing me. Maybe you should turn off the TV, Mom. I am this close to cutting off her hair. And stuffing her down her big, fat, loud mouth. I'm losing it. I'm losing my goddamn mind. If she doesn't get out of here soon, I'm going to punch her in the goddamn throat. In the god damn throat. Okay, I'm calling her. I'll talk to her. Wow, you were not kidding when you said you had bangs in high school. What are you doing? And who would have thought that I would fit into your old clothes? Hey, 
do you mind if I go all Molly Ringwald on your old prom dress, like pretty and pink style? Because I think this would make a fantastic mini. You're wearing my prom dress? And do you mind if I ask out your cousin Greg? He's hot. You know, mom said that she thinks I'm too old for him, which doesn't make any sense because he's three years older than I am, but that's really beside the point. And speaking of mom, you know, do you ever worry about her? Because I read through her divorce papers, which by the way, she keeps like really, really far back in the attic. And you know, I really think she could use a boyfriend. Oh my gosh, we should fix her up with Auntie Nancy's neighbor. <gasps> oh my God, that would be perfect. And then Greg and I could double date with Okay, them. Michelle. Until you get to the airport tomorrow, seriously, beware of things being hurled towards your throat. Why can't you treat me? I would be treated by any stranger on the street because I am not one of your fans! <laughs> Her daughter in the throat?